there, greetings, I'm Flyvox, this is City Skylines, and welcome back to Newton Valley. Thank you all so much for tuning in, everybody. In this episode, we will be working on this specific area right here. Um, and the plan is we will basically move this roundabout over to about this general area here. Uh, the reason is just so that we can have the DDI connected with a straight road just into the roundabout here uh, without having these, like, um, let me just show you here, these wild underground curves here, which, I mean, they do work, but we do want this uh, direct connection. So, basically, yeah. And now, um, I'd like to show you, as you can see, the DDI is slightly crooked. I've noticed that as I was planning out this episode. And the reason is very simple, actually. Now, if you follow the highway, see right there it has a dent in it so this is all straight the highway is straight oh we had a pretty big fire here uh the highway is all straight it goes straight 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 then here's a dent and then <laughs> you see how it swerves down here and um yeah, well I based the DDI uh, on the h highway right here so Overall, the look, it seems crooked. Now here, you can see it pretty good, actually. It's not a problem. It's not a big problem. It's just that we will not have a straight road, uh, or we will have this straightened out here uh, into the roundabout, so the road will make a little curve in here, but that's that's not a problem. Um, that is... Oh, well, we'll not look over here. Uh, <laughs> for uh, the future, I will definitely... Uh, First off, before we start to build, I will check highways and see if we have to uh, like straighten them out because that would be the line where they would go for sure here. And see, yeah, that's a straight line, and uh, yeah, so that's why the DDI looks a bit crooked here. But okay, never mind. Now, um, for, uh, and uh, another thing, I city information statistics. We had population changes. See how the line goes down to the end, and that is because. Boom, we have had a death rate uh, that was pretty high. And that is just because uh, when you do a lot of zoning at once, uh, a lot of people that move in, well, they're like the same age. And the game uh, works like that. So it's like the households are all the same age. And um, then of course they will uh, like die to the same time. And that's what creates these death rates. Now, there is a statistic, oh, right here. You can see children, teens, young adults, adults, seniors. Um, population 45,000, almost 12,000 seniors. So a lot of people uh, will die in the future and, um, or in the near future, I should say, which sounds kind of bad, but I mean, it's a part of life. And uh, yeah, that's what causes these massive uh, decreases of population. As of now, the population is rising again, slow and steady, but it's rising. Uh, yeah, so that was that, I figured that out. Um, but now let's start this here. So now the, this road, it was a placeholder, basically. We can keep it in, but that's like not a main road that the city is, see, it just, it's, it stops right here. It's not like a main road, like for instance, this road here. It's like this road goes all the way, goes across, goes through here, through the roundabout, up here. We didn't line it up with this also though, but you get the idea. So this is a, a main road that runs through the whole town. You can just stay on this road and drive through the whole town. That's basically the idea. Like till up to about, till up to here, it's like, it's like say. And um, with this road, it's not the case. It's not a main road, so we don't really need it. Um, a lot of residents are going to lose their homes now, but um, pause the game and uh, let's, uh, what's this? That's a fire uh, station. Let's just really quickly move this over here. Yeah, sorry guys. Now we'll demolish all of this and um, we'll see how we'll connect this up. No problem. I have to demolish the houses also, unfortunately, but there is no other way because I really want this to look fairly decent. Nice. Sorry, people. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Now, 
Um, we might want to base the roundabout off of this road right here. So, of course, we will also take this out, we'll take this out, this out. We'll leave it like this. Sadly, we did make this roundabout very pretty in a live stream, but we'll take it out also. There we go, there we go, there we go. This can go out too. Let's, uh, let's take all this out, actually. Basically, what we want to do, would we want a 5x5? Five five? And we've got a nice roundabout. Oh, I want the... I think what I want to do is anchor this roundabout in so it will not deform. Now... Let's get this out of here. There we go. Now, this is the road yeah see and it does this little weird then but we'll just go like this All right, yeah, let's actually go out by 10 and then freeform this bad boy into here just like this ever so slightly curved in here and this is a straight road again and um, yeah, what I wanted to do was basically take this out, correct? Yeah, because this road is not a, uh, well, it, I mean, it is a main road, yes, but it ended off here anyway in the roundabout. So first off, let's connect this up here. And now, I'm sorry, guys, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. Okay, I think you can stay. Now, let's take the free. No, we will actually. Um, let's go out straight for a bit just to be. Oh my god, that is very tight. That's a tight squeeze right there. Okay, um. Not a problem. Back this up as well. Um, just realized I made a big mistake. Okay, almost. <laughs> uh, checking for bus uh, lines. I knew there was a bus here somewhere, but it is right here. That is fine. Exactly uh, the way uh, I planned. <laughs> now, what I would like to do... With this... Ah, now there is the problem right here. We need to get rid of this road right here. There's a lot of people waiting on the bus. I'd like to keep that, actually. Let's... Something like this. Oh, we can actually um, let's really reconnect this here. There we go. Now we can take these middle roads out because the roundabout is anchored now or was anchored. All right. Now this is basically it. So we did a little free form here. We have this little dent in here. But that is all fine, in my opinion, and um, we have the DDI, which leads into a roundabout. I like that very, very much. Now, we still have some room in here, which is pretty freaking awesome. Now, we can actually, let's uh, fix those zoning squares here and here. I don't want uh, any residential zoning on the avenue right there. What? Oh, there was another road in here. I just realized... get that in here somehow without being too close 
That should be fine. That should be fine, definitely. What, what am I doing? Where am I, where am I going? I have a house in here. Actually, no, let's not have... What is this? What is this? Solutions Incorporated office building. Oh. Let's, well, let's leave it so then. We can have another office building here next to the fire station as well. And let's just leave these two little spaces open here. What is this? We don't need this. All right, now we got residence, residence, residence. We can, however, put some... High density commercial anyway. We need the commercial anyway. And that should be good. Let's uh oh wait, what did we do here? Could just do something like this. No big deal. Is this a one way? This is an auto save. All right, no big deal. Actually, let's uh, before I forget, turn the road guidelines back on. Okay, yeah, something like this maybe. That's uh, that's pretty good, and we ha can have more zoning in here. We can have some residential in here, and we can. What do we have in here? This is, I lost the zoning squares here. This is commercial. This is all commercial here. We can have like a big commercial thing right here. But maybe also break it up a bit with a, a walkway in here, maybe. Oh, it doesn't, yeah, there's no pedestrian crossing here. Oh, well, I want it. I want it like that. We'll do it like that. We'll just break it up a bit. Alright, nice. Nice. Yeah, that's good. That's pretty good, right? We can also have some high-density commercial zoning next to the train station, right? Passenger service last week, 31. Alright, that's not... That's not very much, so that should be good. Now, this road um, right here, I don't know. We'll just leave it like that for now, I guess. And, um, yeah. We'll just leave it for now. Alrighty, uh, let's hit play again. And let's see now. All the cars should be sorting themselves out. Let's hit it on three speed right here. Oh, lost some houses there. Of course we did. Alrighty, the buses are still going through there. That is awesome. What is this cool building right? This looks cool. Look at this building. The Myrtle Residence. High density residential building. Wow. I kind of like the looks of that building. Looks awesome. All right. Now, faster way into the town, uh, into the city, via the DDI. And also what I've realized, look at this. A lot of cars are going in here and are using this as a turnaround point. Just, just watch for a second. That is wild, isn't it? Now, if it starts clogging it up, we'll have to figure something out uh, and give the cars a turning around point somewhere back in here. This works properly, right? Yeah. Hello again. Okay, so it's not like that we screwed up or something. Anyway. All right. Now, what I also... <sighs> Hot wow. What else? What else if not the pipes? There you go. All right. Now, what I really wanted to do, oh, we have quite the residential demand, which is good. We are gaining some more people. Let's actually have some more people in here. 
I'm not directly by the train station. All right, that should meet the demand quite a bit here. And um, yeah, now what I what I also wanted to do was, oh, what is this? The cemetery is full. We need to empty into another facility, which is no problem because we have crematoriums right across the street, or a crematorium. Now, how is this? Look at this! It's flowing. My God, this uh, commercial really filled out. It's pretty clogged up here, but it's still fine, I guess. Now, what I also wanted to do in this episode was check some services. All right, info views, electricity. We are still very good with our three, no, four solar power plants. All is well. Water is well. Sewage is well. Police. Crime rate 5%. We could use some police in here. Maybe like right in here, actually. You know what? Let's... What is this? At least not a headquarters. A smaller one. Yeah, let's put them right here by the roundabout. That is like right in the middle of this area. Nice. Very nice. All right. Uh, that was that. Police is good here, good here. Good in here-ish, I guess. Still doing good. Yeah, should be fine, should be fine. Alright. Anyway, the high, high residential buildings here. Look at that highway, that looks awesome, man, with the office buildings between oh. cool all right moving on fire we have a fire station right here they don't reach very far now do they they can we could put one a small one what is this helicopter this is a fire watch tower could put one like right here. Just give them this extra bit of protection. All right, hazard 24% still. Ugh. Okay, we have one in here. That is not very. Okay, this is good. This is good. We have three in the. <laughs> Exo Hunter ATL Forestry area, and still it catches fire every single time. We play the game. This is good. This is good. This is all good. Arguably, this is seems a bit red. We could use one in here, maybe. Sure. Why not? Why not? We have the money. It's it's fine. It's fine. Okay. In here as well, maybe. Although there's a station right here. I mean, of course, the green roads indicate where they can reach, but they're pretty close by. I think that this should be fine. This should be fine. All right. Health care. Average health, 68%. That is not a lot. Um, you know what? We could use a doctor's office in here, maybe. So what is this medical clinic? Don't we have like sauna? Cryo preservatory. Yeah, let's I think that would be That wouldn't be too bad actually to have um a medical clinic right here in this uh industry area, industrial area. And I think Oh, yeah, for sure. They need one in here as well. They need one in here. Let's put one right there. Now, how does it look now? Crossroads and intersect that are too close to each other can cause congestions. 
Well, what is this kind of tip? I know that. Oh, wait a minute. Is there traffic lights? No, because I... Oh my god. No traffic lights here. Uh, because I deleted this part of the road right here and reconnected it, it gave me some more traffic lights in here. But we only want traffic lights here. Okay, so... Yeah, this is fine. There shouldn't be any traffic lights. Okay, oh, look at them flip. Look at the traffic flip sides. Awesome. Wow, now look at it go. Amazing. Amazing. Now, uh, back to where we were, though. So that was the health care. Um, death care. Okay, we've got... Uh, cemeteries right here and right here. We've got crematoriums. There's a cemetery. There's a cemetery. There's a cemetery. Could use some more, actually. Um, yeah, but let's just put some crematoriums in, I guess. Wait, is this crematorium? Should work too, right? But that's a park. We don't want a crematorium next to a park, right? Just realize we can zone in here some more. What's this a fire station? No, actually, let's let's put one right here. That seems good. So, how does this look now? Death care. This is good. This is good. This is also good, 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 good. Sure, we can put one in here too. It's not. Yeah, let's put one in here too. Just like okay. Alrighty, healthcare should healthcare should be good. Death care should also be good. Now, what do we have? Schools, elementary schools. We have reached eligible, uh, more eligible uh, students than we have capacity. Graduated citizens, 41,000. Wow. Okay, elementary school, we could use one more in here, I guess. So close together, though. So close together. High school. I don't put too much of those in on purpose because then the population will get overeducated and it's like this is low land value. Yeah, we'll get to parks and recreation soon. And they will get overeducated and nobody will want to work in a factory anymore, you know? Like it's like right here. Not enough workers. Uneducated, zero out of twelve. Well educated, one. And they don't need one. It's weird, but that's highly educated one, and they don't need one. They need 16 uneducated people. Frank's Fish Stick Factory. Again, four well-educated people, and they don't need them. Uneducated, they need 12, and they have none. All right, okay. okay, okay. So no high schools. We can, however, put a uh, elementary school in here. What is this? this is the university. What is that? Faculty. Okay. Well, let's put a school. Wait, um, they need schooling as well. Could, oh, we could put it here. Yeah, let's put it right there. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. Alrighty. Uh, that is high school capacity. Still not enough. Um, uh, not high school, elementary school. Not enough uh, elementary school capacity. Now this area seems, this new area here seems very, very low on basically everything, right? Um, I think that'll be fine here. Let's also give the kids a small trees, no, get a little large. Small playground. Oh, close by here. Oh no, now they are all leveling up here. 
No, I don't want to destroy their houses. Okay, they don't need it. <laughs> and buildings are leveling up already. Nice. See what that does. Just in elementary school. Cool. This university is fairly good. Okay, high school... We will build another one in the future, but not right now, not right now. Okay, what else we have? Citizen happiness. Looks good overall. Population. Oh, there's the the chart that I meant with the children, teens. You know, what kind of people... Unemployment, 3%. What kind of people live, uh, live in the city? Mostly adults, seniors. Seniors, 22%, so that's almost a quarter of the city are old people that are about to die. If you look at it like that. Average land value. Okay, we got some green spots. We also have some dark blue spots. I don't understand this. This is all filled with parks, this whole area. Why is the land value low? Doesn't the park boost it? Unique buildings. Yeah, we need to work on those. Parks and plazas. We can um, add some more parks in here. Let's, uh... We have small parks here too, right? Uh, not a fishing island. Tropical garden. Something like this. Which is not too big. That is kind of big. A dog park. Oh, there's one that scares you. Okay. So we got the dog park. Here, let's see what else we have. So we can, uh, put one of those in here. Magica theme park. Oh, wow, we need a special area for that. This thing is cool. It costs two hundred forty dollars a week. We're spending some money here, man. That should be fine for now. It should be fine for now. Let's see. Parks and Plaza is pretty good throughout the city. Still good, I would say. Outside connections. Nice. It's all fine. Levels. Building levels. Transportation. Public transportation. 5,142 passengers per week. That is good. That is more than 10%. That is awesome. Very good. Very good. Uh, more than 10% of our population. And the most people are, are riding by metro lines. That is good. That is very, very good. I think, uh, I think we did a good job with our metro lines here. Very good. Okay. Ooh, the big one. Traffic. 92% traffic flow by a population of uh, 47,000 as of now. No overly deep red spots on the map. This roundabout is getting quite the use, but still good. This connection here, still good. This connection is good. Still good. We fixed this up, thank God. Over here, all is well. This is, of course, there's a lot of trucks going through here, but that is still fine. Everything is holding up very good, actually. Ooh, this, ooh. <laughs> a lot of, a lot of traffic going through here, but we bumped it up to 93. Oh, no, it's back to 92%. That's okay, though. that's fine. That is fine. This here, this uh, is maybe going to become uh, quite the hot spot because of our um, cargo line right here, cargo rail line. But it's still good. This is good, this is good, this is good. This is all good, this is all good. Traffic is amazing. Traffic is amazing. 
I think uh, with uh, this little fix here, our DDI is getting used even more. Look at that. Amazing. Amazing. Great. Great, great, great. Again, high residential demand. Before we continue with the service checking, we can, however, let's just take it easy with uh, zoning. We don't want to run into another death wave. However, right, well, let's actually zone some of the High-density commercial. All right. Okay, we did this. Uh, we zoned some more. Now, let's see some more services. Okay, that was the traffic, the big one. Traffic routes, not really. Junctions, not really. Necessary road maintenance. Condition is all red, which is all good, right? Even in here. I don't even think that uh, this is turned on, that the roads break or... Garbage. Oh, we will very soon need some more. Um, what do I want to say uh, of these guys here? What what is that called? Uh, incineration plants here. Okay. Um, we gotta think about where we want to put some more of those. Uh, actually, we can put one more. Incineration plant. We can put one more in here. We'll put one in here actually. Seems like a good idea. And how about in here? We got four of those in here already. Let's go with one in here. Alright, so that should be pretty good. The cemetery is emptied out. Now I could delete this, but I kind of do like having a cemetery. I like the looks of it. Although this is this ground here is a bit wonky but yeah you know I, I like having the cemetery in here and this is the crematorium right there it's kind of disgusting <laughs> but necessary and a part of life so what can you do all right what is this pollution well we know we are polluting kind of kind of a lot this is very close to the residence here Low density residential building. They are not very happy uh, in here. Okay, we did kind of. Wait, where is the? Where is the zoning? This is this incineration plant right here. Like, why? Why even? Let's move this bad boy over here. And actually, let's have an, another office here. Maybe this will contain the pollution a little bit, maybe. Oh my god, that really spreads out here. Look at that. Look at this dent the pollution does. Was that because of the incineration plant? Did not mean to do that. Sorry, folks that live there. All right, pollution is, of course, topographic lines. We got to... Oh my god. This map, man. <laughs> Wind, nobody cares about the wind. Noise pollution, we have some, a lot maybe, but no. natural resources, we don't really need those actually. Heating, we don't have that. We have some uh, districts, of course, radio coverage, earthquake detection. We have those two earthquake sensors. Always I used to spread the power with <laughs> um, escape routes, we don't need that. We don't have natural disasters on. And tourism, that is tourists. Come visit pretty, pretty good. All right, but yeah, that is it. That was all the services. We fixed up this here. We added some more residents. We could, oh, we could even do some more, actually. Let's go to about here. All right. Great, 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 great. Now, we did quite some stuff. Well, actually, it doesn't look like we did much, but we did a lot uh, in this episode. 
And I think this looks much better now. This area here, we can, however, see if we want to like extend this road into a dead end road, like right here, just to fill out this area a bit. And, um, but yeah, that's uh, nothing to worry about now. Um, we're getting there. We really try to unlock the next milestone, which is 50,000 people. We get a new tile. We can buy a new area. Nuclear power plant. That's probably kind of cool. Uh, I want to. And then there's only two more milestones left. I mean, it's quite the way still, but that's only two more milestones after that. And that's what we're trying to reach. That's what we're trying to reach. Well, they are really using this as a turnaround point. Why? It's like this yellow truck, for instance, here. Just can I... There we go. Why? Why is he... What is he doing? Importing ore products. What? Where? Why? Why are they just turning around here? Did he miss his exit here and now he has to go over here? What? Was it this one? Hold on. Lake Print Shop. Now, did he spawn in weird or why didn't he just take this? <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, I am very glad um, we found this. I am very glad we found this. There was no way off, if you would come from this this side of the highway, there was no way off here into the city. That's why they had the turning around point. Oh my god, slightly embarrassing, only slightly. What a way to end off the episode, because I will say, we'll cut it off here, everybody. Now, please, could somebody use this exit ramp? Well, the cars, the Sims are still programmed their routes, and it should be better here in just a second. Let's just wait for somebody to use this exit ramp, and then we will call it a day. There we go. There we go. Now they're using it. Okay, so these should be the last batch of trucks or cars using this DDI as a turnaround point. We should see less traffic there. Oh my god, I'm so glad I followed that yellow truck. <laughs> I thought I did check that. That was there the whole time. It was wrong the whole time. Oh my lord. Now this highway is going to get a lot more use, probably. Well, well, no, not really. They turned around here, so... That's... Oh my god, guys. I just realized that was most definitely the problem of the dog bone. Everybody that had to go, that was coming from the highway and had to go in the city, like over here in this area, in this whole area over here, they would bypass this intersection because obviously they couldn't go here. And they would come down here to the dog bone and try to cross or try to enter the city via the dog bone. Oh my god, I feel so stupid now. <laughs> Oh my god, that was probably it. I'm pretty sure it was it. Maybe if a more experienced player is watching this, uh, you could leave a comment But I'm um, if that was the case. But I'm pretty sure nobody could use this intersection here if they were coming from here. So obviously they used the next possible, uh, the next uh, possibility, and that was the dog bone. So obviously you had a lot more traffic in the small roundabouts in here. But that doesn't matter now. We built a DDI and that looks pretty awesome. <laughs> oh my God, only slightly embarrassing. But anyway, guys, we will cut it off here. We will leave it off with some cinematics of the city. Um, I really hope you enjoyed the video and thank you guys so much for watching. It really means a lot to me. I really appreciate it. I like reading all the comments that everybody leaves. Uh, especially the regulars, you know who I mean, guys. Thank you for being there. Thank you for watching every time. And, um, yeah, I will see you in the next episode of City Skylines. So take care, guys. Goodbye. Have a good one.
You're listening to the classics, and I've just got some mail from one of our listeners, Todd H. Why did Johann Sebastian Bach throw out his popsicle? Because it was baroque. Todd, a noble advert, but J.S. Bach loved his popsicle and would never have thrown it out, as it would have almost certainly been smashed and been used as firewood by the countless peasants of Leipzig. Anything. You're listening to the classics, where if it is Baroque, then don't fix it. 